backpack. Go check it out. Yesterday's vlog. But now we continue filming. And we're going to get to the GoPro here in a second. Stay tuned, YouTube. <laughs> comments on the black coffee. Mmm, I got more black coffee. Joe got a latte. Alright, onward. Welcome folks to a forest somewhere in Minnesota where the leaves are falling and it's epic and we're gonna get some slow motion sauciness for you here in a second and you're probably interested in learning more about the GoPro 7 and your my initial impressions on how it's performed after using it every single day for the last three weeks. So, here it is on a gimbal for right now. I'll take it off here in a minute. Alright GoPro 7 enthusiasts, tip number one for filming in an autumn and fall environment. You guys know like the leaves are falling at your house or maybe they're just starting to turn colors. This is prime time for capturing beauty and the GoPro 7 is doing a pretty darn good job at it. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? Okay, so tip number one, point the lens. So there's the lens. Point the lens directly at the sun and find some leaves, preferably yellow, orange, red, and start walking, you know, in hyper smooth mode if you don't have a gimbal, that's fine, in hyper smooth mode directly toward the sun. And what's gonna happen is there's gonna be these sun, this flickering of the light hitting your lens and to the human eye, the brain, the human eye and the human brain, it connects and it loves that flickering light as you're walking toward the sun, moving through the leaves, that's tip number one, it's beauty, it's amazing. Let me know what you think. Tip number two for filming with a GoPro 7 in a fall or autumn environment. Find some leaves that are still on the tree and are just sitting there. And if you have a slight breeze, just film the leaves moving ever so slightly, just for that like, cinematic look right here. I'm gonna show you right now, ready? Uh, just waiting for that breeze. There we go. There we go. There it is. There it is. See that? It's just like movement. Movement is key. That's why it's called motion pictures. Back in the day when uh, Hollywood was just getting started, they took pictures, lots of them, and then put them right back together in a sequence, and that creates the motion. All right, we got to wait for a little more breeze. By the way, if you'd like to buy this GoPro 7 Hero Black from Amazon, do it with the link down below. I'd appreciate it, I'd appreciate it. Just down below, use that link, and basically, uh, this guy, I would, I would strongly recommend. And we're gonna do an audio test here in a second so you can hear the quality of the audio. I'm actually, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm more impressed with the audio or the image. Like, I, I'd say I'm more shocked I'm definitely more shocked by the quality of the audio over the quality of the image. I will put it that way. Tip number three, tip number three. You gotta try some slow motion. 
put it into 240 frames per second and that's the slow motion that's the frame rate you're gonna want for <laughs> for the slow motion and basically I would recommend setting the GoPro on a stump on a, a branch somewhere that it's steady and it's not moving and then you know the drill grab a bunch of leaves and throw them in the air and now keep in mind when you import this footage into your computer it's gonna be very you're gonna need a computer that's a little faster because to process that frame rate it's a, it's tough it's your computer process depending on how fast your computer is it may not process that file well but uh, anyway that's another way to see beauty out here in the office. Can you handle it? Can you handle it? It's so beautiful, it's so beautiful, I can't handle it. All right, still filming with the GoPro, audio, can you hear me? The DSLR with the shotgun mic is down there. So, can you hear me? Question of the day. No, that's not the question of the day, but I'm curious. All right, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, if you found one of the three tips useful for your filming with your GoPro 7, definitely hit the subscribe button. This is just the beginning. I'm gonna be publishing many, many more videos like this one, giving you test footage with this camera and other cameras, but especially this camera. And uh, so I'd appreciate it if you got on board because we're like, we are creators and we need to bounce ideas off each other. So if you are a creator, definitely let me know again in the comments and then I will go visit your channel and maybe use the hashtag road to 1000. Why not, why not? All right, I gotta go get a run in along the banks of the mighty Mississippi. Let's do this. Come on, come on. Whoa. <laughs> Just don't fall. This is real life, folks. This is not in a studio. This is not in a studio. Oh, remember when the drone hit me yesterday? That was fun. Oh, no acting here. good the run was great the run was beautiful wouldn't you say all right I changed the audio settings I'm not sure if you could notice a difference just messed around I set it to low raw audio recording anyway but since this is an autumn fall type vlog and GoPro uh, and <laughs> GoPro tutorial if I can use that word basically tip of the day is put the GoPro on your dashboard and allow basically allow the car to be the movement uh, within for the camera. So does that make sense? So I'm going to drive under these trees because they're epic and I just wanted you to watch like how the GoPro is captured. snap remember what I said about the flickering light and how the human eye loves that well I hope you love that and I also switched the white balance to 5500 K so just a little more yellow look rather than blue so a warmer look because the leaves look so amazing in their splendor of yellow and orange all right pro tip coming up stay tuned hold on Pro tip out here in the wind, hopefully you can hear me filming with the Canon 5D and the GoPro 7. Basically, a little pro tip is to have some dicky pants, especially if you're a guy. I don't know if they make dicky pants for ladies, but the dicky pants, uh, they have a side pocket on the right side of your leg. And basically, you can, you can put a GoPro in there really easily. So if you're filming all day out in the city and you don't want to carry a handle around, or a gimbal, you just slide it in your pocket and you're good to go. You're good to go. So, think about it, dicky pants. <laughs> 